Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe if this helps or you find it interesting. I have a Can-Am Defender Max model. It's the HD8. So far I've really liked it. But I've wanted to install something to hold my rifle when I'm using this to hunt. And I uh, did like most of you. I went online, looked at the different pictures. There's several different aftermarket mounts, everything from roof racks. But one I kept seeing that I found interesting was under the seat mount. Some people would just buy these um, different types of grips and clamp them on and go. I wanted to do something a little bit sturdier and this is what I ended up with. So these grips are the Ratcheting Rhino Grips, part number 21540. Now I'm not affiliated with this company. The reason why I picked them is because on the Can-Am website, these look identical to the ones Can-Am was selling. And I assume they're just rebranding and selling as their own. As you can see, I did the only way I could make this work. There was a slight overlap in these grips, but for my stock size, I don't think this is going to be any problem for me. So this is the finished product of what I built. The bottom plate, this was a scrap piece of aluminum that I had. It's um, six inches by 10 inches. It's probably just a little bit wide on this angle, but it worked. I already had it. You can use aluminum, steel. You could probably even use wood. But whatever you use, just make sure it's good and sturdy, not going to fall off because you are going to have a rifle attached to this and it's always better to be safe than sorry. So let's move on to how I built this. Okay, the main tools I used for this was a drill, two small clamps, a marker, and a T20 Torx top screwdriver. The first thing you're going to have to do this center seat. Actually just the cushion. I've already removed these screws. But you're going to have four of these torque screws. And they're going to be on the ends of the cross members of the seat frame. Here. And you can see the little angled notch that you're screws will be in here. You have one on each side and then one at the bottom. I don't know if I have enough light for you to see it, but if you're at home it shouldn't be a problem. The torque screw on the bottom side towards the driver's seat is hard to get to, so what you'll have to do is put your seat down and then kind of go in from the bottom to get that one out. And once you get in there and start working, you'll see exactly what I mean. So get those four off and remove your seat cushion. Okay, the next thing I did was get this aluminum plate. I slid it under and then I used two C-clamps to hold it in place. Put one C-clamp on each side. I'm only going to put one for the purpose of this video. And then what I did was I used, during this I used 3 16 inch drill bit. So with this clamped in place, I went ahead and I drilled a hole in this, well not through the seat frame, there's already four pre-drilled holes and that's the holes that I used. So with it in place, I just used the drill and drilled those holes. And I did that because that would get it exactly where it needs to be. And then the other pre-drilled holes are going to be at the front of the seat frame. 
on each side. And what I did there, it's not straight in or straight down, however you want to look at it. As you can see, you can't see the hole. So what I did was kind of come from the side. I just got in there with this fine tip marker and put my dot in the center of that hole. Then I removed it and I have also have a drill press. I use that on here, but a drill will work all the same as long as you get your hole drilled straight. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do is determine where you want your grips to be. And as you can see in this aluminum plate, I have too many holes. And that's because the first time I just kind of removed this from the clamps and went in, put them where I thought it would work the best, and drilled my holes, but that won't work. Let me show you why. You need to keep in mind that the seat frame has this little lip. And my original hole, which was here, and one up in here, the bolt could not have made it through. It would have hit that and didn't work. So I had to redo it to make sure I could clear that. And to mount the grips, I used the factory hardware that came with them. I didn't go purchase anything different for it. So what I would recommend doing, if I did this again, was get one of these factory clamps that came with the grips. If you use these, there's tons of others. There's cheaper ones. Um, there's probably more expensive ones. But either one, you could just set the grip in there. And you're really just looking at the bolt pattern. And these are a perfect square. So what I did, um, this particular kit comes with four of these little metal backing plates. And I laid two out. And then I just made sure that my bolts we're going to clear this lip on the second round. And then when these are laid in place, you can use a marker. Make your dot in the very center where you want your hole to be drilled on both of those. And then you just want to remove your clamp and then um, get everything drilled up and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to get these grips mount it on here and then we will move on to the final so got everything tightened up again these are the bolts and lock nuts that came with the grips they are a little long but they came with it and they're lock nuts so why not use it i believe there's going to be plenty of room for this extra thread under the seat i did have to purchase the four screws from my local hardware store actually bolts to hold this to the seat frame. You can go to your hardware store and find something that fits. These uh, perfectly fit through the 3 16 hole that I drilled to go through the seat frame. So now let's uh, get those attached and see what this is going to look like. Okay, as you can see, i uh, got the holes that we've already drilled lined up on both sides. The four bolts are tightened. If you have a friend, now's a great time to use an extra set of hands. I didn't want to record and bore you with me fighting to get these um, lined up in one hand and try to use the socket in the other and then the invisible hand that everybody needs. I certainly didn't have it today. So here it is, it's mocked up, looks like it's going to work. We are almost finished, and I have not tested this. All we need to do is put our seat cushion back on, and reinstall the four T20 torque screws. Seat cushion attached. This is everything installed. It's nice. You can't really see that. It's out of the way. I never really put anything under this seat anyway. And for the final test,
that looks like it's going to work. It's good and sturdy. The stock keeps the seat from pushing down. I'm going to give this a test, but I think it's going to work out great. I appreciate everyone who watched. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.